In this demonstration, we'll see how Semantic Backup Exec integrates with an iSCSI SAN storage array and uses the hardware snapshot capability to do snapshots of an Exchange server. Here's a quick overview of our demonstration environment. We have an iSCSI array, in this case an Equalogic box. We have a Semantic Media Server that's going to back data up from that iSCSI storage array to local disk in the media server, or it has the option to go to tape, or as you'll see here, we can go to directly attached storage that is connected to the media server. We'll start here by creating the backup job. And if we look in our backup job selections, we can drill down to our domain. We'll give this job a more useful name. We'll call this, uh, actually this here we're naming our selection, not our job. So we'll call this selection Exchange Server. And specifically we'll give it a description that says Information Store. So we know what it is on the Exchange Server we're backing up. Once we've done that, we can simply come here to the General tab and give the job a name. We'll call this Off Host Backup. And if we come to the advanced disk based option on the left, we will see we have a checkbox where we can check this off to indicate that we want to defer to the Equalogix um, snapshot capability. So rather than using Symantec to create the snapshot, we're going to use Symantec just to schedule and initiate it, but Equalogix is going to do the heavy lifting. We'll proceed here to the exchange settings. We can see that we can check off the box for granular recovery so that we can recover everything from the database to the uh, to an individual object in a user's mailbox. A consistency check. So we could schedule this, but we'll go ahead and choose to run this now. And once we click run now, we'll see a summary of all of our selections of the job that we just created. If we look under advanced disk based option, you'll see that the snapshot provider in this case will be that of the, the hardware the hardware being the Equalogic storage array. If we come back here under Job Monitor, we can see that we've um, initiated a job. It's actually scheduled at this point, but now it's moving into Active. And as it moves into Active, we'll pull up the Equalogic Group Manager. And we're doing this in parallel so that we can show you under Volume 2 there, Equalogic has initiated a snapshot that was invoked by the media server. So we're, we're seeing a snapshot kick off on the SAN storage array. Um, so this isn't requiring the resources of the Exchange server, and more importantly, we're, we're not having to communicate over a local area network. We're communicating strictly over a storage area network um, without, use, without the use of an agent. So we'll give that some time. We're right around 41 seconds. We should see that this should take about a minute and a half. Also important to note that this same functionality would work with our Dell PowerVault MD3000i as well as um, Dell EMC iSCSI and fiber channel storage area networks. Here we go. Coming up on a little bit after a minute. As I said, this should finish up here around a minute and 30 seconds. All right, there we go. So we see that the job is complete. And uh, for the sake of this demo, what we'll do is we'll go log into Jane Doe's mailbox. Her mailbox is in the information store that we just backed up. And we'll delete some mail from, from her mailbox. Here we go. We can see if we look in her mailbox, she's got a handful of emails. We'll just select them all, we'll delete, and of course we'll go delete them from the deleted items as well. All 
All right, so those are gone. So now that we've deleted some mail, let's go back to the back of Exec Console. And if we click on Restore, we'll see the server that has our Exchange um, mail store on it. We can drill down to the a Storage group. We can even go beyond that to drill down to the database level for a given mail store. In this case, we'll find um, Jane Doe's mailbox. We'll drill into her inbox and uh, could recover, as you can see here on the right, individual pieces of mail. But in this case, we'll just recover her entire inbox. So Jane Doe mailbox, give that something more useful for a name. And then uh, if we look under Exchange, if we wanted to tweak any of these settings, we could certainly do that. For example, we'll uh, check off the box to give us a warning that we're overriding uh, the mailbox, so we don't have to have that hiccup. And if we watch the job, this should take just a little bit of time here. We're using Exchange for this demonstration, but this could just as easily be a SQL server or a file server for that matter. So if we come back to Jane Doe's inbox, we'll click Inbox to refresh. Here's her, her mail. So it's important to note here that we didn't have to restore her information to an alternate location. We just restored it directly back into her inbox. So there's a uh, there's an example of how to do off-host backup using Backup Exec and an iSCSI sand storage array.